So, let's do this. As you can guess from my accent, you probably have a fair idea of where I'm from, and also the nice image you gave it away. So, I grew up in India. I was born and brought up in India. A lot of different parts. I won't go into that. And I grew up in Delhi. So, that's the city. You think New York and London is big? Forget about it. This is the place. This is the, city, the biggest city in the world. Now, talking about culture, I was really lucky, or unlucky if you think about it, that my father grew up in Sri Lanka, and my mother from Mauritius. They're not exactly to scale, and that's not where they are with respect to India, but artistic license. So my parents are from two different countries, and they met in Delhi, and while they were studying, you know, fell in love, got married, voila. And that's, that's, where, I, that's where I grew up. I grew up in Delhi. So I used to always feel a kind of difference about how I perceive things and with respect to my friends, because of course your culture, your initial exposure is what your parents teach you when you're a kid. So a third culture kid, that's a thing that is trending quite often nowadays. A lot of people are talking about what is, what is a third culture kid. Now the definition that you see in the dictionary is someone who is raised in an environment or a culture that is not his parents. So that is not something that is actually the culture of my parents. Now, this was always something that I used to cling on to what makes me different from others. I used to think of it as an advantage from others. I used to think about it as a disadvantage from others. Basically, my main criteria was always, oh, I'm different. And then, come to 2011, I, I, made the big, I made the big leap over to Eindhoven. I've been here ever since, unfortunately. But yes, I made the big leap over to Eindhoven. And I had a chance to interact with a lot of different people. A lot of people from a lot of different nationalities and you know, a lot of different countries and places in the world. And that actually kind of brought up a lot of similarities that made me question this, what exactly do we mean by third culture? What is culture? What makes you unique? What makes us different from each other? Okay, now, I should have mentioned this as the international demographics of Eindhoven. I see there are a lot of Dutch people in the audience, but let's talk about demographics of Eindhoven. What, what are the main international people that I interacted with as a master student in TUE. So first of all, we have the Italians, and we have the Greeks, quite a lot of them. I, I know like four guys named Luca and six Constantinos. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of them. And the next, next major group is the Spanish-speaking people. I put the Spanish flag, Mexican, yeah, you know, all that, all, I bought over flags I could think of, the Colombian one as well, I think. So you have the next major group is the Spanish-speaking people. Then you have, of course, the Chinese, and then the Indians. These are the main demographics. You might notice that the Indian flag is a bit bigger than the others. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I met all these people. These were the major people I was interacting with, you know, during my studies here, going out, having drinks. When you get drunk, of course, you have a lot of life-changing conversations. And yeah, the kind of things that came up to me is people my age, people who grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s, people who were born in the 80s or even the 70s for that matter. Our culture, our, our popular culture, let's put it that way, our popular culture, the kind of things we watch, the movies, the music, all quite similar. If you don't believe me, I do have some examples. Okay, what kind of cartoons did you watch as a kid? Dexter's Laboratory, everyone knows this. Everyone watched this as a kid, dubbed. I unfortunately had to watch it dubbed in Hindi. It was not as much fun as in English, but well. SpongeBob SquarePants. All of us watch it, maybe not as much. Pop of Girls, a guilty pleasure. I know a guy is not supposed to watch it, but I did. <laughs> and something that all of us have seen, of course, everyone has seen Tom and Jerry. At some point in your life, it's not possible that a person in this room has not seen that. And these examples just keep on going on. Okay, the kind of movies that you watch growing up. Creator. Terminator. This guy was all over the 90s. I found like 20 posters of Schwarzenegger in the early 90s. He was doing all the cool movies back then. Okay. Home Alone. Every Christmas. This is one movie that used to come every Christmas. I watched it with my family without fail growing up. And of course, if you haven't seen Lion King, I suggest you do find the time and watch it <laughs> at some point. But this is again something that all of us have seen. It goes on to the music. Now, I, I don't know, because this is going to be on YouTube, I don't know how long I'm allowed to play these music videos, but let's do this. Are we live? Yes, we are. The first one. Everyone knows this. I listen to this in every birthday party growing up. Everyone has heard this. There's not a single person in this room who hasn't heard this. Moving on to a bit better music, let's say 
late 90s, early 2000s. Let's move away from the pop. This was the cool phase when we were all listening to rap. And no words on here. Everyone knows this song. What does that bring us into aspect? Yeah? What, what does that bring into perspective about how similar our cultures really are growing up? What are the kind of influences that we have had? So what does that make all of us, not me as a different person, not me having these influences of parents from different countries, what does that make all of us? We all grew up in cultures that were not our parents. The new generation that we talk about, 90s and early 2000s, we all had influences internationally, most of it American, most of it American, but we all had these influences. So in effect, we are all third culture kids. Let's talk seriously for a minute, and this is why I, I wanted to point out these examples. I know I generalize a lot. Of course, this is not always going to be true. It's not true of all things. I'm just going to generalize so all these things about the Syrian refugees, uh, Brexit. You know, it's, it's becoming more and more to me as someone I view myself as a man of the world. I travel a lot. I lived in a lot of places, have family all over the world. To me, it just seems that we are building up walls where, should we, where we should be tearing them down and coming closer to each other. We are building up walls. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We are so similar. Why do we care where we are from, where we are born? Because at the end of the day, thanks to Hollywood, we are all Americans. <laughs> okay.